Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And uh, I've got a good one for you today. Starting my day off on beautiful Laguna Beach. This is just stunning down here. Absolutely amazing. Every country around the globe is fighting inflation. Every single one. No one is winning. No one is tackling it. No one's beating it by any means at all. Uh, before I get into it, please take a second. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Uh, share this with everybody. Please don't forget to comment on the video. Uh, that helps, and I love hearing from you guys. Plus, right now, Weeble. If you guys want to trade stocks, Weeble is the best place to trade stocks. You sign up using the link below. They give you two free shares. If you deposit anything, guys, they give you four more shares of stock that could be worth up to $12,600. Great site. You can trade ETFs, options, stocks, cryptos, a little bit of everything, guys. Try it. Use the link below. Now, what we are seeing with inflation right now is absolutely, just, it, it's, to say it's like overwhelming would be such an understatement because everything around the globe is, is, so, is sky high right now. Food, energy, uh, absolutely everything. Things for your business, it's absolutely completely out of control like nothing we've ever seen. Now, all the politicians, whether you live here, the UK, France, Canada, South America, nobody wants to admit that we're at an all-time high. They don't want to say that. They want to say things like 40-year high. Now it's a 41-year high. Well, guys, this is the highest inflation has ever been. Inflation is out of control like it was in the 70s. And there is no end in sight. But the worst part is, is that no one's got it under control. And this is only going to get worse because of the supply chain issues, the war with Ukraine. Everything is only going to make this worse right now. Check this out, guys. This is just so beautiful out here. There's nobody out here. It's me and the lifeguard. So if I decide to go in and drown, at least I'll get saved. I get a kick out of our inflation. The European Union, they're talking about how, hey, it's at 8.1%, which is ridiculous. They're finally admitting that the UK has got inflation at 9.1%. It's 1% higher than the European Union. Well, nobody from the UK believes this. Everybody that's purchased food, everybody that's purchased energy of any kind, whether it's to heat or cool your home, whether it's to buy gas, petrol, whatever you want to call it, it's absolutely out of control right now. And the worst part about this is that there just is not a plan to fix any of this right now, which is only going to get worse right now. And here's the thing to think about. You know, when it comes to planning, when it comes to securing your future, making sure you're safe, right now, what if this is the way it's going to be? If you knew that you're going to walk into a store and prices are only going to go up. It was the most expensive 4th of July ever for people. And even hot dogs were up. Everything was up. Hamburgers, buns, the condiments, absolutely everything. Not, nothing was a deal. Now, if you knew that and if you were going to uh, plan for this, how do you plan for that? How do you plan for prices to be absolutely sky high all the time? And you can say, well, there's no way to do that. Well, what you can do right now, especially when it comes to food. Now, you can't pre-buy gas. You can't do that. You can't store it safely. This is really cool up here. Check out this rock. But just how beautiful this is. All that green moss that grows out here. There's been The, the tide has been so high lately when I'm out here uh, that uh, you just don't see this stuff. And it's just so clear. You know, you could la launch a kayak, you could swim out here, you could do the paddle boards, you could carry it down here. Just really stunning. But out there, that dark patch you see right there, that's a kelp bed, tons of fish. But just really cool. And then up here, you've got the tide pools. It's about 
probably five feet off the ground right here, this rock I'm standing on. But that's got, you can see, it's got crabs in it, sea urchins, different things like that. Just really, really beautiful. Really, really cool. Now, you can't prepay for gas, okay? You can't store it safe, but you can store a few gallons. And, uh, you know, I've had people write me when it comes to their farms and it comes to, uh, you know, different ways that they've stored gas. And again, it's not feasible for the average person. One thing about 4th of July that was nice was just talking to so many people about what they were doing, what their plans were, you know, the year's half done. What are you going to do for the rest of the year? And in inflation is the thing that's got everybody out of control. And again, it's a boring topic, but how do you combat that? And people went from buying, hey, let's go buy meat and freezing it to what we're going to buy, we're going to eat, which is also an efficient way to, to purchase food because you're only buying what you're using and you're not wasting anything. How many of us have gone out and you get... You open up your refrigerator after a couple weeks, you've got takeout containers and, and food you didn't finish and meals that you made in the crock pot, and then you end up tossing half of it away. People are not living that way anymore. People are eating everything, which is, again, an efficient way to save money, but how do you plan for that? When you see a deal, stock up on it. I had one guy who's a professional surfer that told me, he goes, you know, Dan, I really... It, I, I like your channel and I really admire everything. But the one thing I told my wife was that, why don't we take Dan's advice and just stock up on the food and store things and what's the worst that's gonna happen? We're gonna be prepared, uh, prepared for a few months. And they started with a month, then four months. And then they said, why don't we do six months? Now they feel they have enough food for a year, but it didn't cost them that much. And they're not worried about things. They, you know, stuff that's gonna go bad, they use that first, just transfer it out, but they sleep better at night knowing that if there is some type of food shortage that they don't have to worry about that. So heed that advice. But this is nuts because I defy you. You know, the one thing when it comes to real estate and people saying, oh, Dan, the real estate market here is fantastic. I don't care where you live. It's in California and it's crazy that you, you live in a place like that. Okay, tell me where inflation has not affected you. Tell me. You know, I had somebody that wrote me today about small towns in Canada that still have houses under 200 grand. That was a great story, and I, I loved it, and we're going to communicate a little bit more back and forth. But in this world, there are places that do have deals when it comes to real estate. But where, okay, you got to work, guys. Okay, I'd love to live here. Okay, well, without internet, without you know, a, a means to earn a living, it's it's great. But a nice week, but then at the end of the week, you need to make some money. So, that being said, what's the game plan, guys? And again, tell me, tell me where inflation has not gone bad. Now, not onesies, twosies. Oh my gosh, nails have not gone up. Bread in my town, Dan, is really cheap. Okay, I'm not talking about that. You know what you're facing. Think about the world that we're going to experience if oil prices keep going up. Now, start of the week, first trading day, oil goes down and everybody's like, Solomon, see, it's done. We don't have to worry about this anymore. The dollar's stronger, oil's gonna go down, everything's gonna be great. Okay, let's see how it is two weeks from now, three weeks from now. I don't believe anything that they have, this beautiful rocks. And again, people are starting to come down. Just a beautiful spot, guys. Absolutely stunning. So, you gotta get control of this stuff. You gotta understand that no matter what you're gonna do, you're gonna pay more for it. Your business, your life, the business of your life, is to get control of this. Now, I get people, it, and this is maddening to some people, that make several hundred thousand dollars a year and are broke because they've set their lives up in such a way that they have so many payments, car payments, house payments, insurance, life, food, lifestyle stuff that they do, whether it's 
you know, uh, paddle boarding, they've got the jet skis, they've got the boats, they've got all this stuff that basically they're broke. If there is a major hiccup in their uh, earnings, they're finished. Now, other people out there that are just scraping by week to week say, this is, that's insane. Now, let's talk about the lower spectrum. If you are broke, and I'm talking about you're get going week to week and you don't have enough money to get by, you've got to get yourself extra money. You have to figure out what you can do to earn extra money right now to get yourself out of the position that you're in. That's the only way that's going to happen unless you win the lottery. You can bank on a stimulus check, but even if California sends out these stimulus checks, which again, I had people furious. Hey, where's my check, Dan, that you talked about? The $1,050 for my family. They haven't sent them out yet, guys, and I'm not the one writing the checks for you either. So again, if it'd be nice to get free money, it always is, but the idea with it that that's going to uh, separate your finances and make you move that far ahead, you're not gonna buy silver stocks, gold, you're not gonna do anything with that money other than spend it right now. So if you are dead broke, what is your expertise? What are you good at? What do you know about? And I get people to say, oh, I'm, I don't know anything. I'm really not good at much, Dan. There has to be something that you could sell people, whether it's stuff out of your garage, whether it's extra computers, things like that, but your expertise. There are people out there, you know, that sell electronic, a woman sells electronic, uh, a day planning and wedding planners that she made. She made them on a site called Canva for free and sells them and has sold thousands of them for 19 bucks a piece. Okay? What about things like that? The crocheting lady I've talked about a ton. You guys have been out here with me when that's another staircase that we've come down and the waves have crashed through here. But you can see how low the tide is out here. Just absolutely beautiful. So, so picturesque, just beautiful. Now look at this, just clear, but no waves, okay? So we'll see more of this, but share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. Where is inflation in control? When's it in check? The sick thing is that in the 70s, when they put everything into the soup right now, they would say, wow, inflation is sky high, which again, inflation guys over 20% right now. I'm convinced of that. To sit there and say in the UK, it finally hit 9%. People in the UK, I love I love making a statement because people in the UK lose it. Oh my gosh, Dan. They send me stuff, they comment, but you guys are only at 9% and you guys have it all figured out, so don't worry about it. Let's go get a 50-year mortgage and not worry about anything, okay? Come on, it's nuts, okay? Canada, same thing. European Union, same thing. South America, same thing. Let's, you know, we could go on forever, but got to get control of this right now. We've got to figure out if you know that this is the way it's going to be for years. Let's say let's say that. Let's say it's going to be like this through 2023. Then you can plan differently. You can, you can plan your life around things going up, uh, you know, more and more on a weekly basis. You're going to have to make more money regardless of whatever you I don't do. care how successful you are. You're going to have to have more come in right now. When the tide is out like this, it almost looks like a lake and not the ocean. And you get the moss and the buildup because of the constant moisture. But look, you got the sea urchins, you got stuff growing on them. Now it doesn't make a bit of difference where you live the news is very tough to take when it comes to the economy. But, I man, I'm telling you, I love the British. How polite you guys are. Think about this. The Bank of England has said <laughs> that the economy has uh, uh, deteriorated materially. That's how bad they're saying. No, it's it's end of days, guys. It's deteriorated materially. God, that's so, so proper, okay? So guys, families are starving. People cannot afford to heat and cool their house. People are canceling trips because they can't put gas in their cars. But the Bank of England says things have material, uh, deteriorated materially. Okay, say that three times fast. Sainsbury, which is the second largest uh, grocery store in the UK, 
has said, the, the CEO said, this is bad. People need to understand that there's nothing right now that can be done to slow down the problem with inflation when it comes to food. Now, Sainsbury is spending 500 million pounds to try to bring the price down, to try to buy things in advance, to try to save money. But guys, that's only going to help a little bit. Adding inventory, what's it going to do? Buy pasta, okay? What's it going to do? Buy beans? Can't buy fruit 500 million dollars in advance, 500 million pounds in advance, because it'll go bad, okay? Same with meat, guys. So people are experiencing this globally. And again, the effort and the fact that people are acknowledging, yeah, this is really bad. We've got a real problem on our hands. That's what, it's nice to see that actually, that people are thinking this. So uh, the RBA, the Reserve Bank of Australia, uh, they're talking about how, think about this, they raised interest rates on mortgages another half a point and it dramatically affected people. The average family had their house go up in price uh, $163. Now, some went up more, some went up less, but $163 a month. Give me $163 a month, guys. Where do you guys get that money from out of thin air? That's what people don't want to admit that, oh, wait a second, yeah, you're right. Now, how about this? There are anticipated five or six more rate increases uh, uh, anticipated in Australia to the interest rate right now is just at one and a half percent. They think it's going to get to three and a half percent. So think about what your house payment's going to be like in Australia with three and a half percent or, or uh, you know, two percent more of an increase right now. Five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, okay, at least during that time. That will be enough to put people out of uh, out of business. It's a bad winter in Australia right now. It's kind of hard to believe that there's a place in the world that it has winter right now when you're walking through there but that's what it is so it makes you think about all this stuff but again budgeting for houses the idea of an adjustable rate mortgage man i'm telling you that is that's playing with fire every uh construction builder says damn this is all we do you know we go out and we get these short-term loans we pay interest only on and uh, they're adjustable and we hope we sell the house quick enough and sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't but with everything that's happening okay with real estate right now we just got the numbers of foreclosures for last quarter not June but the first quarter and guess what foreclosures are up dramatically right now guys they're up one of the highest levels they have been in quite some time. There were 19,542 new uh, foreclosures from seven anonymous banks that would not say what their names were. They participated in the survey as long as they were not uh, disclosed. That's what they said. But you got 20,000 uh, places. Now, people are gonna sit there and go, oh, Dan, that's no big deal. 20,000 houses is nothing. Uh, this is just, you know, you're, you're, you're fear mongering. Okay, guys, it's only going up right now. So GDP, gross domestic product for the first quarter of 2022 was down dramatically. If it's down two quarters, they say that you're in a recession. This happened in Mexico. After last quarter, Mexico was in a recession. Now, this is how much shenanigans they're gonna pull. Is Technically, that you that may be old school way of thinking, but we may not be in a recession if that happens. Get yourself ready for this, guys. The the sky could fall. We could get hit by a comet, okay, meteor, an asteroid, whatever, and they would put a spin on it to say eh, it's not that bad, okay. So if we are in it, in fact, a technical recession, <clears throat> the Economist and people in the know will tell us not to worry that it's no big deal which is absolutely ridiculous to say the least. It's nice, there's a, a kids summer camp that just came out here and the kids are running around and having a good time and finally somebody's out here reading on the beach. Just beautiful, start your mornings like this. Where do you start your day? Where do you, where do you get things going at that you can clear your head and you can plan? Now I've got this little simple mobile thing that I've, that's, uh, uh, wireless internet that's super cool man I can sit here I can pull up the laptop 
and I could hop on that rock and I could write you guys, I could I could upload videos, I could do anything from that. So, you know, what do you guys do? Now, with all this, the next thing is Congress here in the States has said, listen, if we are in fact in a recession, do not plan on any st more stimulus checks. Well, that's enough, guys. If you hear that, do not plan that you're going to be bailed out for anything right now. Don't plan on it. They're not giving out any money. You're going to get onesies, twosies. You're going to have grant money. You've got leftover money that people have that they did not use. That's out there right now. But you have no, there's nothing new. There's not going to be new loans for businesses. There won't be any substantial restaurant grants. There's not going to be anything like that. Isn't this beautiful, guys? It's absolutely such a cool spot. I always like these guys. This guy over here, he's doing the uh, uh, metal detecting with the gold, you know, looking for jewelry and stuff like that. Not gold, you can't find it with that thing. But metal and different uh, things that people drop. So, anyways. People need to prepare for what's happening. And uh, it's exciting, you know, times right now that we're living through in one sense. But man, you know what's gonna happen, guys. The hurricane's coming. Are you going to get ready for the hurricane? No. I really don't care. Okay? Well, earthquakes coming here, guys. So, prepping food, water. I'm going to do a prepping video coming up on what people need to get in general so you can plan on that. But uh, be ready, guys. Everything points to inflation going higher, interest rates going higher. They can talk about, you know, one day the stock market's up, oil's down in price, guys. Problem solved. No, 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 no. Material, things are bad. People are not hiring. Businesses are cutting back. You're seeing, you're seeing services be cut back from, uh, from companies like you've never seen before. Middle management. If you are a middle manager someplace right now, you're, you're in real trouble right now. You've got to seriously look at your job and the importance of your job with the company that you're with because they're going to fire people and get rid of people like you've never seen before. And that's coming, guys. So, share your thoughts and all this stuff. But again, the interest rates, the adjustable rate mortgages, look at those poor people in Australia. And I have, I'm telling you this right now, I cannot count how many people have said that they have a problem and that if they don't, get themselves uh, out of the situation that they're in or sell the house, but they don't know where they're going to go, they're going to lose the home. So share your thoughts and all that stuff. Does anybody shop at Sainsbury? You seeing anything? Anything to save money over there? Let me know, guys. Everybody's curious about stuff like this. As we just passed another holiday, we had air travel here in the States and around the world be completely screwed up where there was, you know, thousands and thousands of flight canceled. Bernie Sanders, Senator out of Vermont, stepped forward. He says, I want to find the airlines. If flights are delayed more than two hours, I want them fined $15,000 a passenger. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Howling at the moon, Ooh, 15 grand. You know what I mean? Come on, guys. It's crazy, okay? It's not going to happen. Rents, I keep getting stories from Australia and around the country about how bad rents are. And there are, there's just no end in sight, guys. What they're doing, uh, you know, with rental units and the deposits and the applications and people that go to apply for things and there's 100 people in front of them. It's insane, guys. I don't know how you pick that. I don't know how you pick this. The the true uh, uh, real estate investors that I know that are landlords all use a service. They say, you want, you want this place, fill out this application, you pay this fee, and the they this one that uh, that multiple people have sent me, it gives them a, a stop sign, like red, like don't rent to this person, yellow caution, and green, go ahead, these people are perfect. Why you wouldn't do that is ridiculous, but 
beware of these scams, guys, because people go out and they say, hey, we'll run your credit, and they'll do a soft pull, they'll work a deal, they'll charge people $40, and they'll take 100 applications. It's a good gig if you can get it, guys. Think about that. Make yourself put $4,000 for that. Final thing, Judy and Ed Crane in San Francisco, California, live in a street with a hill. There's all these streets in San Francisco. You've seen them all many times on the news and in movies and stuff where these people live on hills. These people have lived in the house, think about this, for 36 years. They have a landing pad in front of their house, just a flat pad. They parked their car there for 36 years. The city of San Francisco says you can no longer park your car there and find them. Wrote them a ticket for 1500 bucks. Huh? Okay. Well, it's not a parking spot. It was never a parking spot. You had no business parking there. The bureaucracy shenanigans of cities like this and, you know, municipalities is insane. So these poor people get a $1,500 ticket. Now, I give the crane some, uh, the, by the way, the story's below, but I give the crane some, uh, they get an A for ingenuity and there should be some civil rights attorney or something that steps forward to help these people. They found the original sales information from the house. They found that the house was advertised in 1911, 1911, over a hundred years ago with a car parked in front of the house in that spot. Now you can't do it? That's insane, guys. But again, we want you to park in the hill. They're elderly, they live 36 years. They're not 40, guys. These people are elderly and cannot park there. So everybody gets these injustices in the world, but in San Francisco, which they've got, you know, think about that. There are apps right now that people have sent me that when you go to San Francisco, it'll tell you when there's uh, a human fecal matter on the street, guys. So, mm, let's, let's go vacation there. So please do not forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share this with everybody. Don't forget if you guys want more access to me, there's Patreon and uh, we've got the email list. An email just went out and a bunch of you guys read it and it's check your spam filter. And also uh, don't forget if you guys want uh, to trade stocks, try Weeble, the link is below. They'll give you two free stocks for free. Okay. Onward and upward guys, I will see you guys very soon.